return if possible. <laughs> Flip an interstate, you moron. <laughs> Make a U-turn if possible. I think you need to update it. Here we go. <laughs> Lesson number one, make sure your GPS is up to date. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll have you going through cornfields. <laughs> make a U-turn on the interstate. <laughs> Left turn ahead, oh, and then right turn ahead. This right thing is turn really ahead. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Monique, that's what I call my GPS. Monique is completely turned around. <laughs> She's done lost it. It's a pretty steep hill, isn't it? I don't remember it being this steep. It must level off up here. Again. So you gonna keep up with the trekking poles in for a while? Beautiful day. Uh, started out it's like 32. Uh, next few days is supposed to be up in the 50s though. To be February, kind of unusual, but uh, we're gonna try to take advantage of it and uh, make the most out of it. I think it's what is today's date? February 17th. 17th, 18th, something like that. Two days ago, we had an ice storm here in North Carolina, and uh, the next day it got up to 50. Seen people out in the shorts, riding around with convertibles, tops down. Hard to believe the very day before there was uh, snow and ice everywhere. But that's the way, living in North Carolina is like that. It's just the way it is. Uh, the saying goes that if you're in North Carolina and you don't like the weather, wait a few minutes because it will change and that is very true give you a look at our pack I am sporting the red cloud Kelty red cloud for the first time first trip out so far very comfortable pack I would say it's more comfortable than my military surplus pack that I was using my son's now using uh, a little bit lighter about half the weight uh, actually has more cubic inches as well so that's nice um, Takes a little getting used to because if you're used to the military style pack with all the extra pockets on it and and the heavy duty stitching and and uh, heavier material um, you don't have to worry about tears and rips and things like that as much this one i'm trying to be a little bit more gingerly with because it's just not built to those same specifications however i think it's going to do well i hope it will but uh give you a look at what i have going on here if i can Got the Ruger 1022 strapped on. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying to keep up with my son. And uh, it's got a homemade, if you know me, I'm not going anywhere without some kind of bottle of drink. So my mother in law helped me, so I can get this in the camera here. Help me fashion the um, water bottle system to my belt. And uh, this comes in handy. And actually use the other half for my son's pack so that he can have a way to attach his water bottle and uh, he's got basically the entire bag that I had purchased other than it came with two water bottle holders I took one for my pack and then he's got the other uh, but when I um, had a uh, had some uh, credit from REI so I was able to get these sternum packs and two of those and uh, so I don't really need the other in this in this Kelty bag comes with belt pouches so uh, gives me all the storage I need so far I'm just getting used to it takes a little getting used to it but we're just starting out on Robbins branch it is Thursday isn't it February 17th 18th, 18th 2019 
2016 and uh hope to do about a three to four day backpacking trip in here not sure how many miles we're going to do but we're just going to go in till we find a, a decent spot to set camp and uh, somewhere relatively close to water uh, we're doing the northern end of the loop this time we've already done the southern end and uh, last year i believe it was and uh, some pretty interesting things around there there's some rock formations and such and um in hopes that we see something similar to that on this northern tip but uh all the research that i looked online didn't mention anything really up here so uh, that'd be a bummer but it may be that we don't find anything but just trails so that'd be okay though all right we're just coming up here to the fork where i believe this is where the Hannah's Creek Trail and the Robbins Branch uh, Trail divide, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see here. I can't remember. It's been about a year since I've been here. We're roughly two hours away, so we don't get up here as much as we'd like to. But try to take advantage of it when we do have time. All right, it says to Burkhead Mountain Trail to the right. However, you can get to it from the left also. It's yeah, just it's a, a little bit longer around. Well, if I'm not mistaken, um, this trail has a shortcut to the Burkhead. It, it does, but we didn't see it last time. We didn't see it last time, but it shows it on the map. Yeah. It may not be very cleared. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, let me get off the map for a second. All right. Let's see if I can get this. Our plan, we come in over here. Now we're at this fork area right here. Our plan is to come down to this shortcut trail and take it and come to a, about this area right here. And then we're just going to bushwhack over to this creek and then find a place to make camp. We guesstimate two, two and a half miles total. Um, and then from base camp, we'll make base camp for several days and we'll be able to then day hike out to see these other areas. Last time we came in this direction and uh, come by all the old home sites, chimney rocks and stuff like that, came up this area, got to about this point, and then we bushwhacked over, we got the exact same creek. So we're gonna end up almost in the same spot we did last time we was here. Uh, nice area, and uh, not knowing this upper area, and from everything I've read, there's actually no points of interest to us up there, so we're kind of not even interested to take it. Um, not to mention, I'm fat and out of shape, so. Uh, that's the plan, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff you might see on the trail. Rock outcrops. Where's the hole you don't want? Well, it goes back into that rock oh yeah. Guarantee you something's been spinning a night there. Huh. That's pretty cool. That one just looks like it's barely teetering up there. Like that last one. Oh yeah, well, it's probably been like there for a long time, I'm sure. That's probably that one fell off though. Take an awful lot of something to knock it off. Love it out in the woods, anywhere, just in nature. This time of year when the leaves are off the trees, the air is nice and crisp. By the way, it's 40 degrees now, it's warmed up a little bit. And um, get out and hopefully see a little wildlife and be nice. I'll show you this, guys. Just a handy little thing to have. I don't know what brand it is or whatever. If I can get it on camera. Well, there's the brand name. Well, on one side you got a, a real cheesy compass, you got a whistle. Actually has a magnifying glass you can pop out and a thermometer. All of which is probably not very accurate, but better than nothing. And it's nice to have. Uh, no the temperature. I know one time we was out here and it got down in the teens. And uh, you know, it was just kind of curious, you know, what's what's the temperature? Well, is it gonna get below freezing? There's a water body or it's gonna freeze up and so forth. And of course they didn't because, and only because, we uh, we put them near our campsite fire for the night to keep them warm. Now we're headed back down to the creek. Once we cross that creek, uh, best guess is 7,500 yards, and then this shortcut. Trail. We have taken the shortcut, so to speak. Or at least that's what it's labeled off of the is Hannah's Creek, Hannah's Branch Creek or Robbins Branch Creek, whatever it is. 
It's uh, supposed to lead over to the Burkhead main trail, but our plan is not quite go that far. Just past a, a makeshift campsite, somebody had looked fairly recent. Somebody had chopped down a lot of green stuff. That's against the rules out here. You're not supposed to mess with any living trees. Just, you know, you gather your firewood and such from stuff that's already down. Uh, I don't really understand why that even needs to be a rule. Anybody with a little common sense ought to know that. That, uh, you know, if you can get firewood from trees that are standing dead wood and such, you're better off. It's going to burn better. It's going to be drier. And uh, not to mention you're not damaging the forest because they're already dead. I'm not a tree hugger by no means. But at the same time, I don't want to be stupid either. And I want this to um, be able to use areas like this and uh, want my family to be able to use them for a long time to come. And part of that is um, doing our part to preserve them. And uh, not misusing our, um, our freedoms in such a way that uh, would cause them to be taken away from us. So Lord knows, we got plenty of people already trying to do that take away our freedoms and uh, we don't need to give them any reason to do it even more so <sighs> beautiful area let me pan around here give you guys we have not been on this area and uh, this is nice walk on the side of a ridge and uh, it's quiet as far as I know nobody else is in the area I hope there's not anybody else in the area uh, we did run into a group when we pulled into the parking lot. <clears throat> Let's see, how can I describe them? Let me adjust you here. I guess I would describe them as commando types. Uh, we pull up into the parking lot. They're out. They got their stuff, gathering their gear. AR-15s leaned up against an LTD car. That has come up a trail that was pretty horrendous actually i'm kind of surprised they even got the car up it uh, probably took a run and start at it i guess but like five or six guys in one car uh, ghillie suits full camo and uh within 10 yards of the parking lot they're uh, building their hides for their i guess sniper play games anywho I uh, hope we don't run into them, especially, or anybody else for that matter. There's another little interesting tidbit. Pretty big rock formation over there. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not. Uh, some people are like, dang, ain't you ever seen a rock before? Well, where I live, it's not like this. And, uh, I mean, this is the next best thing to the mountains, I guess. Alright, where are we at? Right about there. Okay. And our plan is to branch off this trail here hike all the way up to this creek and try to find somewhere maybe up in here where it's flat and try to camp right there. Okay. Alright. Lead the way. Alright, we branched off the trail a little bit. Found a small branch. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. You can. And uh, we're basically just following it down the hill. And, uh, Water is came and gone in the branch, going underground sometimes, sometimes above. So we're following it down. Uh, I always like to follow my water source for several hundred yards upstream to know that there's no dead animals or anything living in it before I try to use it to drink. And, uh, and then using this time also to look for a good campsite place that has good resources, firewood, flat down, sort of flat down. Okay, we found what we're going to try to make camp tonight. Creek's down there in the bottom. Probably hear the water running. Good creek. Not really on the map, but it's more or less a branch, really, not a creek. 
But uh, I always wanted to camp near some big rocks and such, so we found this site right here. And got a couple of dead dogwood trees up there. We'll have to cut down some vines and such. But uh, we'll see if we can make this work for camp. Day one, or night one, that camp set up so-so. It's going to be a work in progress. But, uh, already had supper. What's well, about 7 o'clock? 7.18. 7.18. And I'm going to probably crawl in the sack here in a little while because... Most likely be up every two or three hours anyway. Yeah. Keep fire going and just you don't sleep the same as you do at home when you're out here, so it's the way it is. So we put some big logs on the fire in hopes to keep the coals hot through the night. Remember, guns, gear, and government can always let you down. That's why you should put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He will never let you down.